Bang, needs knives. My name is Karen Eve, AKA the Knife Wife. Today I'm here to show you the top 10 knives to get the woman or girl in your life. This isn't gonna be the same old list with pair of threes and bug outs. I picked out some really unique pieces that any girl is going to love, whether they're into knives or not. So let's get to it. Number one, the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. The Kaiser Mini Sheepdog is one of my favorite knives because it's small and doesn't take up too much of that pesky female pocket space we have to deal with, but yet it has a nice robust blade that I can count on. I use my knives outdoors and for work a lot, so the robust blade is something I really enjoy in a knife. It comes in many variations that any girl is going to love. Many colors, different handle materials from micarta to aluminum to even titanium if you're willing to spend some more money. There's also many variations within the deployment methods such as flipper tabs and holes, just a hole or just a flipper tab. If you're not as well versed in knives or the person you're getting them for isn't, I would suggest maybe just getting the one with the flipper tab. The knives also come in many steel variations such as 154CM and S35VN. This knife has a sheep's foot blade shape, which was one of my favorites for an EDC knife. I find that the downward facing tip is easier for everyday type tasks. I normally like hollow ground blades, but in this case, the flat ground blade is good for broad cuts. Number two, the Concept Mini Corvid. The Concept Mini Corvid is the smallest knife on the list today. So small it doesn't even have a pocket clip, but that's okay because any girl can throw it into a pocket or her purse and it'll be just fine. It has a flipper tab that works surprisingly well for its size and a cleaver shaped blade with a downward facing tip that makes it safe and useful for everyday tasks. This is a knife that I call thread popper because it's the kind of knife you pull out of your pocket, pop a thread off your shirt and throw back into your purse. Don't be fooled by its size though. This knife has a great 154cm steel or an S35VN steel on the premium titanium versions. I would highly recommend the dimpled titanium version that I have here for any girl. It is a beautiful classy knife but it's made out of quality materials that anybody can appreciate. This is a perfect starter knife to get your girl used to throwing a knife in her purse and to love it because it's so darn cute. Number 3. The Kaiser Original the Kaiser Original is one of the larger knives on the list today. It is a spiffy button lock and arguably one of the easiest to use on the list because you can use the button itself to deploy the knife as well as to close the knife. Or you can choose to use the thumb stud to deploy the knife. The button lock really makes it easy to close if you have your other hands full which makes it one of the most beginner friendly knives on this list. It is a great versatile blade shape being a drop point and comes in that 154cm steel which is good enough for everyday carry type of tasks and even work. The knife comes in many different materials such as aluminum, copper, even the fun Mexican blanket serape version you see me carrying throughout the video. I would recommend this knife pretty much to any woman. It is very versatile and most people are going to love it. Number 4. The Nafsco Lander The Lander is a very versatile EDC knife with a drop point blade and D2 tool, D2 tool steel. That is hard to say. Anyway. It's a wonderful knife that any girl would love to carry, not only because it's bright colors, but it's so darn cute. I would say that it's for somebody that maybe has a little bit more experience with knives, only because its only deployment option is thumb studs, and that's not necessarily ideal for everyone. Although in reality, I don't think it's very hard to learn at all. The scales are easy to change into aftermarket scales, and it's one of the cutest knives I've seen in a long time with its buttery smooth action and very easy access to the lock bar. Number five. The Nafsco Baby Banter. The Nafsco Baby Banter is very similar to the Lander in the sense that it is also a thumb stud drop point blade with very buttery smooth lock bar action. It too comes in many beautiful colors and any variant that any girl will love. It takes up very little space in the pocket. However, there is a large version you can see placed on the right. Both of these knives are very small in the big scheme of things, but you may want the larger grip on the Big Banter. The Big Banter is great, but the little banter has a strategically placed choil, which still allows you to get the full grip on the knife, as well as keeping the thumb stud out of the way of the edge for push cuts where the thumb stud won't get caught, which I highly appreciate. You can get the same action, the same cutting performance, but it takes up less space in your pocket. Now you may notice I'm having trouble getting the knife in my pocket. That absolutely has nothing to do with this knife. It has a great springy clip. My pants were just really stupid and nothing would go in them. Number six, the QSP Canary. 
The QSP Canary is a neck knife, which is a knife that you can wear around your neck. It's super easy to deploy quickly and I love its fast accessibility. Even though it's not the best self-defense knife in the world, it's still one that you could use as a backup because of how fast you can access it and how concealable that it is. There is one side effect though. I started running around corners, thinking I was an agent, doing tactical roles. This knife just made me feel like a bad bitch. And man, do I look cool. <laughs> this may happen to your girl too though, so I would just be very careful about that. Anyway, the QSP Canary is a great option for somebody who wants to show off their knife a little bit. Whichever handle material you choose to get for the girl in your life, pick one that she's gonna like because the handle is what shows when you have this knife out. I have the micarta one here, which I like because it's subtle and the holes give it somewhat of a flare, as well as a functionality making the knife lighter in the hand. There's also carbon fiber handles as well as G10 ones. The blade steel is going to be 14C28N unless you choose to get the Damascus version, which unfortunately I don't know what the core of the Damascus steel is in this case. QSP has done a really great job with this knife and I highly appreciate the aesthetic as well as the easy access to the knife. The sheath has been wonderful in terms of how well the knife clicks in. I've had no issues with it rattling, being loose, or falling out at all. You can change the chain around the necklace part if you choose to and you can also buy a tech lock to be able to attach the knife to your belt if you choose to do scout carry or hip carrier or whatever she may choose to want to do. Normally I don't use neck knives, but lately they've been coming a trend in my collection, and this is something that I would highly recommend. It's easy to remember to put on, and once you have it, you don't forget to use your knife because it's hanging around your neck, not lost somewhere in your purse. Oh, and this knife can also be a pretty good companion if you decide to go across some really tricky logs to do knife photography and then possibly get stuck on the other side. But don't worry, I made it. Number seven, the Artisan Sea Snake. The Sea Snake was actually designed by another YouTuber named Mike Emler, so if you want to check out his content, I'd highly recommend it. This is probably the biggest no-brainer knife on the list because it's highly affordable and the materials you get are great. It's a bang for your buck knife. The Warren Cliff blade is also my favorite blade shape. This knife was designed as a neck knife, but as you can see here, I purchased a tech lock separately, which will be linked below. The neck knife feature is also great if that's how you choose to carry the knife. Having both options is good though if you want to purchase the tech lock separately. The ergonomics on this knife are some of the most attractive features to it. My hand fits super comfortably in the handle and I can also use the finger tool in the blade for a more comfortable grip. The blade material is made of a powdered steel called ARRPM9, which is much tougher than ordinary stainless steel. This knife is a really awesome option for anyone who's into outdoor activities. However, if you're not much of an outdoors person, it's also a great EDC companion. It's highly concealable, easy to carry, and doesn't really get in your way. Fixed blades are a great option for women because we don't have much pocket space to begin with. Having a knife easily put around your neck or around your belt makes for an easier option to be able to carry a slightly larger blade without having to deal with getting pants with big enough pockets. The knife also fits really snappy inside of its Kydex sheath, which I really appreciate. There's no wiggle room and it's made with high quality materials. Number eight, drop and quiet carry, the Shorty. The Shorty is a multi-purpose knife and the only one on this list. It is not only a great knife, but it is also a key holder. You can put multiple keys within the rungs of the frame of this knife. The knife itself has a liner lock and opens smoothly with its thumb studs. I wouldn't have expected this knife to have great action, but it actually really does. You can see that the liner lock is placed inside of the frame of the knife, which allows you to easily push it over to unlock the blade and close it, just as many of the other knives on the list. The pocket clip fits smoothly in the pocket and it doesn't take up much space. You can opt to use this knife on a lanyard or a keychain as well. Drop has made some wonderful knives in the past, but this multi-purpose key tool is great for any girl who wants to be able to have quick access to a blade on her keychain. Number nine, the Spyderco Techno 2. Spyderco is an iconic brand, and I've had the Techno 2 in my collection for a long time. I've used it for work tasks and EDC tasks alike. It has beautiful green standoffs and a cute chunky frame that any girl is going to find cute. I wouldn't recommend this for a first timer as it's pretty pricey, but it comes with amazing quality materials such as the titanium frame and the CTS XHP steel. I love the full flat grind because it's really easy to do push cuts with. 
This is a great knife, but again, it's one that I would recommend for somebody who has an interest in knives unless you're willing to risk the money on someone who may never carry the knife. Either way, I find that this knife should make any girl love to carry it. The wire clip is super easy to get in and out of the pocket, and I really just have no complaints about it. Number 10, Pryton Blades Not So Heavy Metal Collection. The Not So Heavy Metal Collection comes in many different colors and offers keychain size knives and regular size knives. The keychain size knives are very nice to have on your keys and to use like a thread popper as I mentioned before. Both of the knives operate on liner locks and thumb set action. They are easy to slow roll. The keychain is a bit harder to flick open, but the regular knife you are able to use that type of action with. Both of these knives use 8CR 13MOV steel, which can maintain a sharp edge, but not for as long as many of the other knives on this list. This is a super affordable knife, and I would recommend it for somebody who's never carried a knife before. The girls are going to be more apt to want to carry this knife because it comes with this beautiful suede pouch. You can put the knife in it and throw the knife in your purse. The nice thing about this knife is that there are many color options and there's something that somebody who maybe isn't into collecting knives might be interested in to carry as a first timer. This knife is not going to have as high of quality materials as some of the others mentioned on the list. However, for somebody who is a first time carrier, it would be good enough and it might just be the thing that gets somebody into carrying knives long term. This is something I like to call a gateway knife. A knife with good materials to get somebody into carrying and maybe having a collection one day. As you can see, the knife is still flickable. You should be able to get a good edge on the 8CR 13 MOV, but as I mentioned before, if they're doing hard use tasks, it's not going to last as long. This is something to put in your purse and do light duty work with. The zipper on the pouch works really smoothly, and I like the suede outside to it. You can also put credit cards as they put a wallet on the other half, which I highly appreciate. Alright guys, that wraps it up for today. No pun intended. I hope you enjoyed the list because I know any girl you get these knives for absolutely will. Please remember everything is linked below in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe below. Bang.